Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Retro Gamers Podcast. Larry here, and as you can see, or maybe soon here, uh, not here, is Anthony. Uh, Anthony had some uh, flight issues, which is all good to go, but uh, unfortunately he couldn't make it to this episode, uh, which is why it's just me this week. And um, with that, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity, which I sometimes do, don't get me wrong, but I want to take this opportunity to continue to kind of bring you into my life. Um, I've done it in the past, talking about the, the, the collection behind me um, and, you know, talk about my memories of video games and everything. And I know we don't normally do this only because it's, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not putting the cup before the horse. There's nothing dire, nothing drastic, nothing like that, but something that is come to light in my life that um weirdly enough i kind of feel most comfortable behind this microphone to talk a little bit about it and hopefully some of you out there maybe have the same situation and still equating it to video games especially maybe retro games might be a little some newer games but gaming nevertheless so um so i want to you know, again, take this opportunity to to talk about it. Um, I will say right off the bat, um, with our game of the week, uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters, haven't forgotten about it, but I do want Anthony on the show to talk about it. So we'll talk about that next week. And if you haven't noticed, just to do a little um, little uh, corporate biz here. Um, we're now, and and now more than ever. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, you know, and and ring the bell, especially on 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 YouTube, uh, and I believe Spotify, some probably some sort of a recommendation, but this is going to be on YouTube. Um, every Thursday, we will be posting up our gameplay of the game of the week that we review. Okay, so not the new one that's suggested, but the one that we reviewed. So in other words, this week. Um, well, I'll it, may, it might not go up this week. I might put something else up. But we're going to do every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, we're going to premiere gameplay of our game of the week. It's either going to be myself or Anthony playing. But, um, you know, and, and we are not promising that it will be a playthrough. We're not promising you will see end credits. But we'll show you our, our due diligence, our try at a game. The last few weeks, we've done Battletoads. Uh, Star Fox 64 and Ghostbusters on the Sega Master System. And uh, I did two of them. Anthony did one of them. Uh, Anthony was able to complete his game. I came nowhere near close to completing the two that I did. <laughs> but um, but it's it's fun, you know, just fun to watch is what we're posting up as we're starting to do more and more, especially on, on YouTube and videos and stuff. So check that out every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, play of game of the week so uh check that out this week might not be saturday night slam masters like i said so we'll see what's up but with that being said let's get to uh kind of the main thing that i would like to talk about um and and uh i know this might not come to a shock to a lot of people especially those who watch the show who can see me um those who know me you know i'm definitely a heavy set guy um definitely had my fair share of uh issues with with weight and health and everything and it just uh and like i said there's nothing nothing i'm not dying well we're both dying but you know nothing like that but still something news that hit me um that i was hit with uh type 2 diabetes diabetes so um you know finally all of my um lack of caring with exercise uh eating whatever i want apparently whenever I want, uh, has caught, caught up to me. And, um, you know, when the doctor finally said, hey, look, schmuck, you know, and he warned me, I had the warning with the pre-diabetic. Uh, but then he said, yeah, no, this is it. You got, you got type two, type two. So I don't have to type one, type two, which, you know, stinks because what that means is, well, when I say stinks, just stinks that I got it this far. This is all my fault, obviously. And it does bug me that I, I I got this far with it, um, and and this ending up happening. But at the same time, it could be seen as 
a blessing in disguise because it's going to force me to make a lot of positive changes in my life, which includes eating and exercising. And funny enough, with all this happening, I I, I won a year's, well, at this point, probably 11 months, but a free gym membership uh, where I work, in the building, I should say, where I work. So that's cool. So that's one year, uh, or by the time I get it to me, probably 11 months, um, of you being able to utilize a gym, which I'm really looking forward to. And I'm not looking like I'm not going to bulk out. I'm not going to get abs or anything, but just I, I definitely need to lose weight. And this whole thing is reversible. This whole diabetes thing is to type two diabetes is totally, totally reversible. Um, I'm already started a program uh, through my insurance. Uh, it's actually called Twin Health. Maybe some of you have heard about it before, which is specific to diabetes. And the whole idea is to reverse all this, to come off the medication, to basically not be diabetic anymore. And, um, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to doing it. Um, but with the what I want to talk about here is um, exercise games. Uh, there's not really many games about diabetes. I mean, probably the most famous one is, is <clears throat> excuse me, Captain Novalin. Um, who is a superhero with type one diabetes. So uh, I don't got that. Um, yeah, type two. And um, apparently Novalin actually, as I look here, is a name brand, a brand of insulin. I didn't realize that. Okay, interesting. Um, I mean, it's a terrible video game, but, you know, it's it's at least, a, they tried to make it an educational game. But what I want to talk about is, and, and even with my history of some fitness games, um, because they've been around for a while. They've definitely been around for a long time. And at one point in my life, I was, you know, be the, uh, around the time of the Wii, but I was using uh, fitness games. And I was using them to a uh, positiveness. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to say success, but positive direction um, in my life. But, I mean, some, I mean, to go back as early as the NES and the Power Pad, I mean, not, I mean, it might've been, I don't myself remember exactly specific um, exercise games for the, uh, for the NES, but I mean, world-class track meet, really anything involving the power pad in itself is basic cardio. I mean, a lot of this is all really cardio based. Um, I never had a power pad only because I don't think I had the room for it. Yeah. My, my bedroom was not tiny. But it was small, so I think a power pad would not have worked. And I'm sure my parents, if they hear me jumping around, they probably would have been yelling at me anyway. So that wouldn't have worked. But uh, still, you know, having to run on the power pad, especially, like I said, world-class track meet. Um, so that, I feel, is the earliest iteration. But really, a lot of these games kind of entered uh, with the Wii. I mean, the Wii, to, to me, was really the first system because it was packed in with it, to feature an exercise game, We Fit. It came with the balance board, and which I might still have, actually. Um, came with the balance board, of course, the uh, the Wii mote and everything. I mean, the Wii itself was kind of designed for, for motion and gameplay and everything to really get you out of your seat and move. Move, you know, as long as you're moving. I mean, we joke around a lot, but, you know, growing up, Playing video games, most of it involved just sitting on the couch, uh, which is a could be a bigger detriment now that we're in our forties, um, and then just sitting on the couch playing video games. That's why the pandemic almost killed me. Uh, working from home, I mean, literally, I was I was uh, get out of bed, roll to my work desk, after work, roll to my couch, after that, go straight to bed, and then just the cycle repeats. And I mean, the pandemic just messed me up. Forget about mentally, but physically it destroyed me. Um, and it, during a time when a lot of people were, were doing other things, they were doing fitness challenges and they were doing push-up challenges and whatnot because we couldn't do anything else during the pandemic. But um, to go back, uh, as I got off topic, um, you know, the Wii U and the Wii Fit. And I remember using the Wii Fit. And and when I had it, I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm really gonna dedicate myself to trying using this. And I remember the first time I set up the balance board. 
Now, the balance board to me is an ingenious invention from Nintendo. Nintendo's come up with a lot of great things. You know, where Xbox and PlayStation, when you go to a new system, the controllers basically are the same. You know, Nintendo makes it a point to like almost change it completely. Like, all right, with we're scrapping the old stuff. Let's move on with the new and new designs and everything, which is probably why backwards capability on 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 Nintendo systems are terrible. But when I saw and I started using the the the, the Wii Fit, so I get on the balance board. I set the balance board is what it is. You know, I got the thing and everything. I remember buying. Uh, I bought like lifts kind of for it to kind of lift it off the ground a little bit. Um, mostly A because I had a rug, and B I just figured it'd probably be a little. Well, better have had some distant, little distance, tiny distance uh, from the floor. So, and and the uh, the um, the board weighed you. So, and of course it was Nintendo, it was the Wii. So you know, I had the me was on there, I had my me, you know. And when I get, and I stepped on the, it goes, you know, during setup of Wii Fit, it goes step on the scale, or step on the board, I should say. So I step on the board, and. As soon as I stepped, I, I kid you not, my hand to God, when I stepped on the scale, it went, oh. <laughs> Short of saying, hey, fatty, get off me. Um, it literally it literally went, oh. And then as it weighed me, and I guess figuring out my BMI, my body mass in index, my Wii fattened up. As it was like, and but my guy just kept going. It was almost like watching um, cliffhanger game on The Price Is Right, you know, do 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 do, and like you know when they get the first when when the contestant is so far off the first uh, price that basically the 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 yodeler just goes all the way up the mountain. That's what happened. It's like stop. Stop, please stop. And then finally I was almost I was almost a full circle. I was almost completely a sphere. <laughs> so um so that that was my first indication going, all right, I might be I might be a little heavy. Um but I was living in a basement apartment, and this is probably why, because I live upstairs now. So I think mentally it's messing me up to not want to use these fitness games. Because when I was in the basement, I was in the basement. So below me was the concrete floor. So I can jump all I want, no matter how much I weighed. Um, you know, do whatever needed to be done. So I remember going through this. Now, at the same time, I was trying to eat better as well. And that's my biggest problem. My number two problem is exercising, movement, anything like that. My number one problem is food. So, um, but I was I was trying to head in the right direction with that. You know, just trying to make smarter choices, not better choices, just smarter choices. Between that and actually using, and I was using the system, I was using the game daily. Um, and, you know, it would track it, it would go, it would keep the days that I was doing. It, um, and there were different things to do. Like, I remember doing some light yoga on it. Uh, some things you had to rest your feet on it or something like that. Some balancing on like not even games yet. This is just like yoga balancing. Um, what was one of the other ones? Um, like like almost like a like a like a I don't know what they call it. I don't want to call it not a stairmaster, but like steps, like a step machine or something. Like you step on, step off, step on, step off. So that was really cool uh to do. And just just doing these light and it it had it where it was low impact because I wasn't going to go crazy and I wasn't gonna last long, but I was able to do it even at a slow pace. Um, and then I expanded that to what they had on there, which was, uh, on the Wii U, it was running in place or even walking in place, but I did try to do some running in place as well. Um, that shock, I hate to run. Even I feel if I was even at my best shape that I was, which was right after high school, I hate running. I just don't like it. But the running in place that the Wii U uh, that the Wii did for for Wii Fit, because you would you would connect the controller obviously, um, and then you would hold on to the controller as you ran in place in place. Now keep this in mind: I'm running in place. But what was cool was it gave you because remember the Wii remote the Wii remote has a speaker on it, 
So what I would do is I would actually boot up the game, do the, the running in place. I started 10 minutes. I won't lie. I did work my way up to a 30 minute jog. I'm not even gonna say run a jog, a light jog, a walk um, in place. And what I was able to do is I was able to change the channel on the TV so I can watch a television show. And the Wiimote would kind of just give me updates. I think it gave me time updates and like encouragement as well. Like, hey, you're doing good. Um, but it definitely gave me time updates. And I kind of forgot what I was doing, which is why this television's in the gym, I guess, when someone's on the treadmill or on the elliptical or on one of the bikes. You know, you just kind of watch TV and you forget what you're doing. And next thing you know, it's a half hour later and you burnt a bunch of calories. So, um, uh, um, so you know, I, and I really enjoy doing that. And that was the last time. Now, that had to have been, at this point, I don't remember when exactly I moved in to this uh, address, this house. When I moved into the basement, but it had to have been 2008. 2007, 2008, because I told the story uh, last week or the week before uh, when we talked about Blade Mitchell, how I watched King of Kong, and it was fairly new to DVD. I had it on DVD. I wasn't streaming it. I had it on DVD. So, I, and the movie came out, I think, in 07. The DVD, even let's just say it came out in 08, so around then. So we're talking, you know, 15 years ago, whatever you do. And that was the last time people actually would say, oh, you're looking good. You're losing weight. Um, so it's been a very long time since. I mean, now I get, hey, you're looking all right. You're looking good. But, you know, people being polite. Then I actually felt like, oh, they actually mean it. Like I'm actually losing weight. Um, and I think then my problem is, though, once when I was doing so good with We Fit, I'm like, oh, there's probably better games out there to use. Um and I did move on to another game on the, um, it was available on everything. I think I had it on the PlayStation, actually. No, I might have had it on the Wii. I think I had, no, I had it on, I definitely had it on the PlayStation. EA Sports Active. And EA Sports Active, this is now when everyone was putting out exercise games that were designed like the Wii. Uh, this game came out in 2009. It was a sequel that came out with it. And what this one did was uh, you had the controller in one hand. I got to believe on the PlayStation, there was some sort of controller. Uh, but then you also had like a sensor on your thigh. And um, I, for the for the, for the PlayStation, I can't remember what went in. Maybe that's why I had it on the Wii. But in any event, whatever systems, you had the, the sensor on your thigh. You held a sensor in your hand. And it was just more kind of interactive, um, sports-themed, if you will, activities. Uh, again, to to get into the rhythm of losing weight and everything like that. I don't remember using this one as much as I did the Wii Fit. Um, and I really don't remember much around it. Um, and you know what? I stand corrected. I could have sworn I had this on the PlayStation. But EA Sports Active was only available on the Wii. So I might have been, I might have had Sports Active too. You know what? Okay. So I'm going to backtrack just for a second. Same same difference between the two games, but EA Sports Active 2, that one was available on the Wii, the Xbox 360, and the PS3 because that one came with a sensor, like an actual sensor um, that you would attach either to your leg or to your arm, to both maybe. Um, so yeah, and because I remember I was going through and I have a EA Active, but I guess it's 2, uh, the sequel, uh, physical disc on the PS3. Sensor is long gone. So... So that so and that one came out in 2010. So 2010, 2011, that's when unfortunately I started falling off these. And I would try other ones. There was a personal trainer walking on the DS that came with pedometers that I tried. Um again, kind of used it for a little while, but me, I get bored quickly. I mean, I have this right here. Um, this is for Rank Fit Adventure on the uh on the switch and this is a kind of a the the ring that you use it's got some resistance to it right that's how you're supposed to use it and it comes with the game and i think i bought this when it first came out and it came out when did it come out it came out 2019 right before the pandemic 2019 
I've had this in two, since 2019. I think I've played the cart twice. So this is just sitting there, not really doing much. The thigh adapter, at least, they use for the um, the Switch sports games, you know, like for soccer and everything. But what I'm trying to get at is that um, I really need to start utilizing these types of games again because they worked for me in the past. And I feel like, you know, if, if for those of you out there who might have used them, hopefully they worked for you. I'm not saying that, again, that using these alone is going to do it for you. Obviously, it's nutrition. And with me now, we have to deal with, with the type 2 diabetes. Um, you know, I, I got to learn how to eat better. And I even had, I had the, the cooking, uh, game, if you want to call it that on the DS. Well, that was more of a cookbook though. So I really don't count too much, but, um, you know, and I had like, we fit, we fit you. I had, I remember that was like a free upgrade. We fit you. If you had, if you had, we fit it, it upgraded it. Um, even as we speak on my switch, I have fitness boxing. I downloaded the jump rope uh challenge which i know that was just a, a quick little thing they did for the pandemic but still and i never used these and and living on my own which is my choice and i enjoy it but living on my own and, and i i say this for no other reason than just kind of to bring you into my world i'm not I'm not looking for pities i'm looking i'm not looking for sorry i'm not reaching out for that i'm literally just talking for the sake of talking, but living on my own, you know, I don't have that support of someone who's, who, you know, with me, um, you know, a girlfriend, a wife, a roommate, whatever it might be, you know, I don't have that there. So my mentality then goes immediately to, you know what, I'll pick it up tomorrow. I'll pick it up tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. And now I'm at the reality of all of that catching up to me of starting tomorrow. And I feel like, and I know this is the, not the podcast to do it, but, you know, I want to take some sort of accountability. And I, I, don't do, I might do my own blog separately, of course, separately from this. But I definitely want to get back into these exercise games. I want to be able to use this ring fit. I want to use the ring fit, not be it. I can use it. I want to use the ring fit. Hell, I think I still have the board. If I can break that bad boy out and boot up We Fit You, who knows? Maybe I can do that. You know, they got even regular games like Dance Dance Revolution. I work up a sweat for that. Forget about it. Um, got some of these Zumba games. <laughs> And um, and I downloaded some for the Switch. Like there was like a, a simple push up, a simple sit up uh, apps, but those ended up not being good because you had to like the push up one was weird because the push up even though it was like a dollar at one point, but the push up one, all you did was you put the Wii uh, the Switch I mean down on the floor and then you do push ups. I kid you not. And your nose would have to touch the screen, the switch screen for it to count, which in itself is fine. But if I started working up a sweat and I got the switch right below me, not only that, if God forbid something happened and my arms gave out on me, I'm headbutting that system and it's game over for me and it. So that those were weird. The simple push up. Um, I like the idea of the fitness boxing. I know you have fitness boxing, fitness boxing two on the switch. And another one that was themed with one of the uh, Japanese games. I forgot which one it was. To the point where I bought... This is my weird mentality. Because I'm buying these peripherals, peripherals for these games. I have, Not here. They're in, they're in my closet somewhere. I have not gloves, but like... Um, uh, what do they call them? Uh, the slides. I forgot their official names for it. Uh, but the uh, the slides for the Joy-Cons that are shaped like like you hold them. So they almost look like brass knuckles, kind of, sort of. Uh, or at least the insides of brass knuckles. So I can hold them like in a boxing position and do that. It's almost like light Tybo. Tybo had a game. I'm pretty sure I might have had a Tybo video game. I cannot get... It might have been just the DVD. Because one maybe had a Tybo video game. Um, I know the Kinect... Oh my God, the Connect would have been perfect if I had a, a Connect for the for the for the for the uh, Xbox 360. Um, 
Anthony has mentioned it before, and he even gifted me, God bless him, um, he even gifted me the game. Uh, he swears by Beat Saber. Now, I don't have the PlayStation VR set up. Um, I, I just, I don't have the perfect room for it. Um, I still have the VR. I'm actually trying to get rid of it, but be that as it may. Um, I would love to get the VR too. The vision, the, um, I mean, who knows? The Apple Vision Pro, I might be able to play Beat Saber. Anthony swears by Beat Saber, and he uses that as cardio. A lot of people use it as cardio. He gifted me. He somehow ended up getting another copy of it, and he was gracious enough to give that to me, to gift it to me. So I have it. I just haven't been able to play it. Um, but right here, right now, on this podcast, the Retro Gamers Podcast, me, Larry Mormon, I'm taking responsibility for myself and my actions and accountability that I will be eating better. I'm going to be using these exercise games as much as possible. And I'm going to get this whole thing under control. I'm not, you're not going to get weekly updates. Hopefully you can see it. You won't hear about it, but hopefully you'll see it in due time. And maybe a year from now, we can talk fitness games again, but how they worked for me and how it improved and how I don't have to worry about type 2 diabetes anymore. And this is the best outlet that I could have used to express this. And I know it might have went on tangents this episode, but I kind of needed to get this out, needed to get this off my chest. And I love each and every one of you out there who listen, who watch, who contact us. And again, I'm not looking for, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, shut up and just talk about video games. Trust me, I want to do that too. I just, like I said, I just wanted to vent to all of you out there. And thank you for listening. Even if you're watching, thank you for listening. And we'll see how this goes. I'm not making any promises other than I'm taking accountability now. So we'll see what happens. And will I break out the Wii Fit? I think maybe I will. Well, at this point, Wii Fit you. Because I got the... The Wii U hooked up, so might as well use the best version of the game, right? Um, who knows? Maybe I I, I, I want to start up those fitness boxing again. And maybe I'll try the jump rope challenge. Apparently, you can do it without actually jumping, which is good for the people below me. So, <laughs> so see what's up. But with that being said, I'm going to end this episode because I've already bored a bunch of you. I'm sure you're already tuned out. But again, I needed to vent here. I need to do this. So thank you very much, everyone. And folks, remember, you can catch us on Facebook at Retro Gamers podcast on instagram at retro gamers podcast on x at retro gamers pod you can watch us on youtube and spotify at retro gamers podcast and wherever you listen to podcasts do a search for the retro gamers podcast hit like hit subscribe hit the notifications the bell whatever it might be depending on the app that you're using thumbs up please please we get that algorithm going with the thumbs up and share share please share the show with everyone that you know anthony will be back next week and folks, I will catch you next week right here on the Retro Gamers Podcast.